Hey guys, in this video, I would like to explain what could make your video signal worse. So you need to understand the omnidirectional antenna transmitting pattern, which is like the, the apple in this picture. And the bigger the apple, the less power the transmission. So this apple need to be on the right angle on your quad. And the apple has two null positions, which is at the top and at the bottom of the antenna. And next antenna is the directional antenna. The receptive pattern is like a cone in front of you and it has a limit angle of reception. So you don't want to fly outside the uh, receptive boundary. This picture explains more. And when you look on the side, it looks like this. When you understand the side wave pattern, you know uh, how high you could be at a certain distance. For the test, I used this quad to test and the antenna on my quad is like this. When I put a, the GoPro on the case, it will block the antenna. And I set my VTX transmitting power at 25 milliwatts so you could see the difference. The first test is with and without the GoPro. The left video is without the GoPro and the right video was with the GoPro. You can see that, that when I turn toward myself, the GoPro blocked the video signal a little bit. But when I go further at 150 meters, you could see more different between the two. And next thing that could block your video signal is your head because your head has water in it. And in this test, I do not carry the GoPro. I use only the omnidirectional antenna on my goggles. And you could see the difference. That is so much different when you fly behind yourself and your head is block blocking the omnidirectional antenna. So next test is to show you how different when you fly behind dry tree and fly behind a uh, green tree, which is juicy tree. This, this test I will use this dry bushes. I will fly behind this, this dry bushes and I will compare to this green bush. And just to show you how far they are apart so in this test, I use only the omnidirectional antenna on my goggles just to, just to show you the difference between the two. So behind the dry bushes, I could see the feature and I, I was flyable. And then when I flew behind the green bushes, the video signal got worse to the point that I could not fly anymore and I bailed out. And I just want to make sure so I dig a second try. And so behind the dry bushes again and stay there longer. And then the green bush, which is still worse. Because the green bush has more water in it. Next test is what will happen when you fly out of the receptive pattern of your directional antenna. In this case, I will fly in front of myself and then go to the right out of the receptive cone of my directional antennas. I use two directional antennas in this case. So when I fly behind the bushes in the previous test, the video signal uh, was better. Now I'm gonna fly toward the bushes. Now I'm directly behind the dry bushes and you could see that the video signal is better than when I was using only one omnidirectional antenna. 
and now I'm directly behind the green bush and you could see that the video signal is seeable, is flyable because of the better directional antennas and then I'm gonna fly outside of the receptive boundary of my directional antennas the further to the right the worse the video signal and it's getting worse to the point that I cannot go more than that because I don't want to crash so I so I get back to more in the front of myself and that is it just to show you so what you need to consider is how you place your video antenna on your quadcopter and also on your goggles as well you should place your video antennas high above everything that could block your signal in any angles of your flying so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and you could support me via many methods in the video description bye bye